Hello everyone, my name is Jose Diaz. I am the online learning manager here at FIT. And today's tutorial will be how to bring a PowerPoint presentation into Blackboard. Now what I'm showing you here is exactly what we're gonna to do today. As you can see, here is my PowerPoint presentation. Students do not have to leave Blackboard. They can view each slide directly on Blackboard. If they click next, slide changes, it goes to slide two, slide three, slide four. They can also skip slides, it's indexed. So over here you can go, for example, straight to slide seven. They can also maximize the screen. So now it's full screen and they can still change the slides and full screen. Uh, it also, uh, they can also, uh, have a laser pointer. This is, this might be helpful for instructors who are who are presenting in their face-to-face -face class directly from Blackboard. Uh, so some of the benefits of doing this is number one, students do not leave Blackboard. Uh, for example, if you would have a a PowerPoint file, they would have to first of all click on the file, then they will download it to their computer. Then they will have to double click that file from their downloads folder. Then it will open in their PowerPoint and then they can view it. So that's a long way, as many steps. This way, it's very quick. They can view the, your, your slides directly on Blackboard and they don't have to download anything. And also, uh, as for those students who don't have PowerPoint, some of those students could be stuck if they don't have PowerPoint installed in their computer. Another benefit of this is that uh, students, uh, students don't have to download the file. So, you know, you, you, uh, always own the file and students cannot make changes or whatever they, you know, they don't have ownership of your PowerPoint slides. That's the second benefit. And lastly, the third benefit, which I think is the most important is that if you have to make an edit or you have a typo in your PowerPoint slides, you can make that change directly from one place. And if you have that PowerPoint slide saved in multiple courses or multiple, you know, multiple folders within your course, you will only have to make that edit once in that, in your Google Drive, as opposed to having to take down all is instances of your slides, make the edit, re-upload the PowerPoint multiple places, so it saves you a lot of time. It's one place. Uh, your file lives in one place and you can make that edit. And once you make that change or that fix from Google Drive, you don't have to re-upload that file back into Blackboard. It automatically, uh, the changes are automatically uh, seen by students. So there is no downtime. Okay, so those are some of the benefits of, uh, from doing this. And now I'm going to show you how you can accomplish this. So let's open up a PowerPoint presentation. And this is a, a welcome to PowerPoint for Mac presentation. There are seven slides, as you can see, and you can go view each slide. And let's say I'm done with this. So the first thing to do is file, save as, and I'm going to name this presentation one. It's a PowerPoint extension. And I'm going to save it to my, let's save it to my downloads folder for now. And I'm going to click save. Now that I have this uh, PowerPoint slide saved to my computer, I need now to, now I need to upload this file to my Google Drive. And I recommend using your FIT Google Drive account. And I'm uh, I'm going to open now my my Google Drive, and I, as you can see in the right hand side, I'm logged in through my FIT, and I highly recommend using your FIT than your personal, because uh, with the FIT account you have unlimited storage, and so now what I need to do is I need to upload my PowerPoint uh, file into this folder that I already created. I already created a Google Apps folder. So I recommend that uh, when you're using Google Drive uh, to be very well organized, make sure that you have a folder for your course. I would also add the, the semester, the course ID, so that 
uh, future iterations of this course, you can have it all organized in one place. And so it's not a mess. And I highly, highly recommend to be organized using Google Drive. Organize your content, your PDFs, your discussions, any 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 form, any uh, any uh, documents in your course. Make a folder for them and save it so you can be very well organized when you come back next semester and you're rerunning the course. Okay, so now I'm going to upload my 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 PowerPoint presentation, and I like I said I have it in my downloads folder so. Here it is. I drag it over to my Google Drive folder, and as you can see, it says presentation one dot pptx. This is my my PowerPoint presentation, and as you can see, a little icon is an orange P. This lets you know that this is a PowerPoint file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click on this file, and I'm going to choose Open with, and then I'm going to open this with Google Slides. Basically what's happening here is that this PowerPoint file now is being converted to a Google slide. This this might take some time depending how many slides and, and images and whatever media you have on your PowerPoint slides. It might take one to two minutes depending how big this file is. Now this is my Google slides version of my PowerPoint slide. If I go back to Google slide, now you see I have two versions. I have my PowerPoint uh, version of the slide and also my Google slide version. Google slide you can see is a different icon. It has like a yellowish rectangle icon. So I'm done with my PowerPoint slide. You can remove it if you like, but remember that we are working from the Google slides now. So any changes or any edits you need to do, you should make it on your Google slide version, not the PowerPoint slide version. So I'm going to open up the Google slide version now. And I'm going to review it one more time, see if everything's OK, see uh, if I see any typos. Everything looks fine. The next step is up here, we, uh, click on File and scroll down to where it says Publish to the Web. Click on that. Now you have two options, the Link option and the Embed option. What we want to do here is click on the embed option. And this is basically the embed option will let you place this PowerPoint, this Google slide into your, into your Blackboard so students don't have to leave. So basically you're embedding your PowerPoint into Blackboard. You have an option here to choose slide size. You have small, medium, large. Uh, I like medium. You can play around with this and you know change and see if you like medium or small. You can always change your. Uh, you can go back and change this. Now this slide here is deceiving. It says auto advanced slides every three seconds. This is not going to make your slides auto start unless you check this box on the bottom here. Start slideshow as soon as the player loads. Only if you check this box here, then you'll get three seconds advanced slides. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave everything as it is and then you click on publish it's going to ask you are you sure you want to publish this selection i'm going to click i'm going to go ahead and click ok now you have a highlighted in blue this is the embed code so now what you have here is the embed code highlighted in blue what you're going to do is you're going to right click on inside here and select copy now we're done with Google Slides. Now we're going to go back into Blackboard. So I am going to find the folder where I want this Google Slides to live in. And I'm going to choose Google Apps right here, folder. I click on that. Now I'm going to choose my Google Slide folder. So I have an empty folder here. Next step is click on Build Content. Select item, give it a title, give it a name. Let's, let's give this Google Slides demo. Next step, over here in the uh, where it says HTML button, click on the HTML button. And it's going to open a window. In this window, what I need you to do is paste. So Command V on a Mac, Control v on a pc and that pastes the embed code that we copied from the google slide 
Uh, next step is to click on update in the bottom right. You're gonna see this yellow box. Don't be alarmed, that, that's good. You want, you want this yellow box. Next step, on the bottom right, click Submit. Click on Submit, and there it is. Now we have our Google Slides uh, uh, presentation up on Blackboard. You can change the slide by easily clicking on the Next button. They can also go to the index and, and skip slides directly. And um, you also have the laser pointer if you need that. Okay, next thing is, let's say there is an error. There, are, let's, let's say there's a typo in my title. I wanted to, I want this to say "Welcome to Google Slides," so I need to go back to my my Google Drive. Right now, I I need to open the Google Slides version, not the PowerPoint version. Remember, we are embedding the Google Slides, so I double click on the Google Slides version. And uh, let's change this to welcome to Google Slides. Since we converted the PowerPoint to a Google Slides. And Google, um, Google Slides automatically saves. You don't have to click save. So now if I go back to my Blackboard and I click refresh, This, the title automatically changes. So this is what I mean by if you have a Google Slides presentation, multiple courses, all you need to do is go back to your Google Drive, select that presentation, open it, make the necessary edits, and automatically this change or fix or edit will happen in all instances in all your courses whether it's multiple courses, different semesters or whatever, or in the same course, if you have a, if you have the Google slide multiple times in your current course, it will automatically, the, uh, the uh, edits will automatically show once a student clicks on that slide and there is zero downtime. So that's it for my tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at jose underscore diaz1 at fitnyc.edu or come by our office at b508-1. Send me an email. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one session. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.